This video is an introduction to memory management. So when you're dealing with an array list, you can store items in contiguous memory locations and you can immediately access them by using the get and set methods. However, when you use the add or remove methods and you remove or add an item that's not at the end of the array list, then the array list does some automatic shifting of elements over to either fill in the gap where you removed an item or shift the items over to make space for the new item that you're adding. And each of these shifts of an item from one element to another requires a few processor instructions and therefore creates a performance problem when you're dealing with array lists. And your program could slow down a little bit. Uh, instead, you can use what's called a linked list, which will avoid this performance because this performance issue because it does not use contiguous memory locations and instead each item contains a pointer to the next items location in memory as well as the data being stored. Let's take a look at some examples. So here's an example of an array list where we have three elements. At index 0 we have 12, index 1 we have 99, and index 2 we have 37. So if we were to call the remove method to remove 99, then notice that this is what it looks like um, in the middle box right here. This is what it looks like when we remove 99. So the array list is going to have to shift to 37 over to this empty space, as we see down here. And imagine if this had a thousand elements in it, and you'd have to and you removed the first element. You'd have to shift 999 elements to the left to fill in the space and update all the indexes. And similarly, when you're adding an element, you have to shift all the elements to the right to make space for the new element that you're adding. So that's a big performance problem. And in order to address that, we're going to talk about a linked list, which looks like this. So we have 12, 99, and 37 again, but now they're nodes, and a node is simply the data item, which is the number 1299 or 37, and also a pointer from one node to the next node consecutively. So there are the items in the linked list. 12 is considered the head node, and this is the tail. We're not, we won't worry about that right now. We'll talk more about linked lists in a different video. But imagine if we needed to now remove 99. So right there, we want to remove this 99. Rather than having to shift all the elements over, all we got to do is just take the arrow, the link that's pointing from 12 to, to 99, and move it over, repoint it to 37 instead, and you're done. It didn't have a giant performance problem. It happened a lot quicker, and that is a great way to manage memory in your program. And in the next video, we'll learn a little bit about linked lists. We'll look at a first linked list and an implementation of it in Java. So thanks for watching.